Hi, I'm Dr. Aurélie Najm from the University of Glasgow, UK, reporting for BREM Now at ULA 2021. Today, we are going to talk um, about one of the most frequent RA extraarticular manifestations, interstitial lung disease. And to discuss that topic, I have invited um, Dr. Pierre Antoine Juge from Bichat Hospital, Paris, France. Um, and just to give you a little bit of introduction here, so Pierre Antoine and his group have described um, the association of the MUC5B promotor variant with RA associated ILD. And very interestingly, actually, this year, uh, your findings have been confirmed in a large biobank um, in the presentation OP0007 by N.T. Palomaki. What are your thoughts about this, Pierre Antoine? I think it's uh, it's always good to have uh, such uh, an association that is replicated in a real life study, and with such a huge uh, number of included patients. And if you see, if you look at the figures that you gave in the abstract, it's very interesting to see the uh, cumulative incidence of uh, ILD within the RA patient uh, carrying the variant and in the non-RA patients carrying the variant. So it's very. Uh, Nice to see this replication. Yeah, that's that's amazing. That's really always nice to have your work confirmed, isn't it? Um, and, and also, I think you presented today some work on epidemiology and mortality of RAILD, OP0099. Um, is there any reason why we still do need incidence and prevalence data in RAILD, to your opinion? It's... Very interesting because it's a, it's a not very explored uh, manifestation in an epidemiologic way. And we had the um, privilege to use the French national health database to explore this. So it has some limitations because of the code age uh, diagnosis. And maybe we have not uh, uh, assessed all the infraclinical interstitial lung disease. But we have a clear map to what the rheumatologists or the doctors think to uh, think that are RA ILD. That's what they code for RA ILD. So that's a very interesting uh, point of view, uh, which is not a cohort study or a case association study. So it's a, it was nice to have this French whole French group of patients to study. Indeed, that's and that's we very... also. Yes, we also use that to uh, compare the mortality, uh, which we don't have many um, new recent uh, epidemiologic data. So that's very interesting too. Yeah, that, that's great. How do you, how do you place these findings in, within the current literature on the topic? Does that fit with the previous reports um, on epidemiology of IILD? I think uh, we have found a very few number of area ILD within the area population. The frequency was about 2.5% uh, of uh, area ILD within area patients, which is very few. And I think it's because of the bias induced by the codes. But uh, within this area ILD population, uh, we have a very reproducible um, data. There are more men, there are elder. And so I think we can learn from this population. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. And um, tell me, what does that, what to you, what does that mean for the rheumatology community? What is the, the take home message for this? Well, first, I would say that um, regarding the MUC 5B variants, it means that maybe we can use genetic and maybe associated with other clinical features to maybe detect or uh, try to stratify uh, the ILD uh, screening within the area patients. And that was one thing we don't know how to do yet. The second thing I would say that in our study, we found that uh, area ILD was associated with a higher mortality. And if you look to other abstracts uh, that were published in the ULAR this year, we, show, we, we have shown that rheumatologists could take care of comorbidities and lower the mortality of RA patients within the years, but we still need to take uh, this ILD thing into account and to find how to decrease the mortality induced by RA ILD. 
Yes, absolutely. I guess the next step would be to to look into more details on maybe treatments and how to slow down the progression. Um, thank you very much, Peranto. And I think that was a really, really interesting uh, data that you shared with us today. Um, for more ULR 2021 coverage, head to remnow.com and follow Aurelie Romo on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you, Aurelie.